Hey guys, what is up? It is Karen, aka Caked by BBK, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be demoing, wear testing, reviewing the new e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. There's dog barking in the background, don't mind that. All right, the internet has been up in arms over this concealer, and originally I wasn't going to review it, but you know, I ran out of stuff to film, so we're gonna be reviewing these. All right, so we're actually jumping to this clip from the end of the night because I have some exciting news, and I wanted to put it in the beginning of the video, and I forgot to talk about it at the beginning of the day, so I'm putting it in now, hence why I look different. But I actually applied to be part of the Sephora squad, which if you don't know, it's a new influencer program that they're launching, and it doesn't matter what follower account you have or like where you're from, I believe, but they just want like a different range and a diverse range of people to be uh, basically ambassadors for their brand, and it's a paid opportunity, so I would get paid to be basically partnering with them and they also give out product if you're an ambassador with them as well. So I appreciate any love and support you would send my way and I know I have a small chance of getting into this program but you know it never hurts to try so I will leave the link in the description bar below if you would like to leave me a testimonial. So if you've been watching my channel for a long time and you enjoy my content I would love if you would mention that in any way shape or form on the website and leaving testimonials really helps when the judges on the panel decide whether or not they want me to be part of this program. So if you would like to do so, I would be eternally grateful. And if you do decide to support me in this venture, then you can screenshot it or you can download a picture that says that you left me a testimonial and I will leave you a shout out. That is it for this short little snippet. Okay, and back to the main point of this video. <laughs> All right, first and foremost, I bought mine at my local Ulta. The shades that they had in stock were atrocious. I will insert a picture right here. Personally, I got the shades medium beige and medium sand. Now, these, <sighs> these were the darkest concealers that they had in the store from this product range. So, the darker one of the two is the medium beige, and then the lighter one is medium sand. Now, I do like to highlight with my concealer. This one looks a little bit truer to my foundation color. Let's grab my foundation right here. I mean, it's not as yellow, which, I mean, I kind of like for my concealers. I like them to be a little bit more neutral, you know? It doesn't have as much of a golden undertone as my foundation, and it's a little bit lighter, but that's the darker of the two, and then this one is the lighter one. So I'm thinking we're just gonna have to make like, you know, a cocktail, you know, mix it up. But this is said to be a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, so that's what we're gonna be testing out. This is what the applicator looks like on the side. I like how they have a little, uh, diagram. But before we get into it, let's read the claims and get into the logistics of everything. Okay, I can't roll my R's, don't come for me. As we know, it's $5 because it's e.l.f. and it's super affordable anywhere you buy it. So it's $5 in every store. I got mine in my Ulta. Why is my phone so slow? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so after a long awaited time. Let's read the claims. So according to their website, it is a full coverage 16 hour wear concealer featuring a large doe foot applicator to conceal, correct contour and highlight for flawless skin. The highly pigmented formula is lightweight, dries, matte and won't settle into fine lines or creases ideal for all skin types. All right. I do get a little creasage on the like way inner corners of my eyes. So we'll see if it doesn't crease. 16 hour Coverage literally has like an exclamation point in parentheses on the site. We got you. With hustling to work, running to the gym, and everything in between, your concealer needs to play as hard as you do to the gym. Shall we do a check-in at the gym? I do have to go today. That'll be a first-time experience for the Caked by BBK channel. Also, this plane would stop flying over my room. That'd be great. All right, doe foot applicator. The large doe foot applicator applies the creamy formula evenly and precisely for maximum coverage. In addition, the versatility of the wand allows you to sculpt, contour, and highlight. For formula, the intense pigmentation is full coverage, but won't settle into fine lines, courtesy of its oil balancing formula that leaves behind a matte 
finish. And it is cruelty free and vegan, which hello, we love. There are 18 shades. I will have to say that the shade range is a little, um, not that great. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of lighter shades and just a few like medium to deep, not even like deep dark shades. So with that being said, it's not the best shade range. Enough of me blabbing, let's just get onto the application because I know that's why you're all here. So we're going to be mixing medium sand and medium beige. I am gonna swatch these on my hands before we get going. Also, can we talk about how this um, packaging does not match the shade whatsoever? All right, so this is medium beige. It is a pretty hefty component here. Oh, she is thick. That's a thick applicator right there. This is what she looks like. Let's swatch it on my hand. Ooh, she's creamy. Doesn't seem like there's a scent, which is good. She seems a little pink, dang it. That's what that swatch looks like. And then this one is medium sand, which look at the stark difference between these two. I wouldn't really say that these two are medium, but they were the darkest shades at my Ulta, so. <laughs> Ooh, she is light. She is super light. Yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna mix these two. <laughs> I am gonna leave these on my hand for a little bit to see if they do oxidize. Okay, it's been a little bit and they're still drying down, but I did put like some pretty thick swatches on my hand, but I'm definitely gonna go in with a mix of them because neither one is like my right shade. So <laughs> we're just gonna make do. So I like to just apply this in like little strips and let's mix that with the other shade. I do like the thick doe foot applicator, but if you need to mix this like me, it's gonna be hard to kind of get in between. And I do like to do the center of my face too, so I'm just going to just go in with the medium beige shade. I do have to scrape off the excess on the uh, two because it does come out like with a lot of product, if you guys can see that. That's how much product that comes out, so I just like to Scrape it off the chin. Just do a little bit down the nose. I'm just going like super lightly and then We're doing the forehead. So I'm just taking my Morphe sponge This actually is not a bad match at all, but we'll see how it looks when I dim the lights I also like to go up on my eyelids as well blending out really nicely Huh, I am actually very pleasantly surprised with how it blended out on my skin. Yeah, I don't think that medium beige is a bad match for me after all, which is nice. A trick to blend it out even more, I like to blend out my foundation with the bottom side and if it looks like it's a little not blended, I just go over the edges with that foundation side just to make it a little bit more seamless. I'm gonna turn down the light so you guys can see how my skin actually looks. All right, so this is how it looks without any powder right now. Excuse my texture. I have like such bad texture in between my, um, my eyebrows. I'm going for like a lighter coverage today. I only did like two pumps of my foundation. If you guys wondering about the makeup that I have on already, I will put it in the description box down below, but this is what the concealer looks like, which I'm not really mad about. It is a little lighter than I would like it, but it's not a bad match. I am experiencing a little bit of creasing, but it's nowhere near as bad as my other concealers, which is great, honestly. And I'm going to actually set and bake my face a little bit with the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I have used this before. It's part of my daily routine. It's not drying at all, so if my under eyes do start to feel a little bit dry, we'll know it's the concealer. All right, so I'm baking my face a little bit. I'm actually gonna do the rest of my face off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back with my full face. I have yet to put on a lip because I'm actually gonna go eat right now and I hate having stuff on my lips while I eat, but let's zoom you guys in so you guys can see how it looks right now. So we have something to compare it to later. Here's what it looks like, which it's not bad. I definitely think it's not the best coverage that I've ever had in a concealer. I still love my NYX Can Stop Won't Stop one and that one is a thick 
full coverage concealer and I don't know if it's because I didn't put enough but I did put my usual amount if not a little bit more than what I usually put in my NYX one so I don't know we'll just kind of see how it goes I mean it looks great right now it's not drying on my under eyes at all and I do tend to have drier under eyes sometimes so that's a claim that rings true it does feel super lightweight right now besides like my lashes I don't really feel like I'm wearing any makeup which is awesome so kudos to this concealer for doing that but right now it is let's see it is 11 12 i'm actually going to make myself some lunch and go run some errands so i might take my camera with me and do some check-ins and also i think i'm actually going to go to the gym later on so maybe you guys will be able to see how it wears after a workout i think that'll be motivation for me to like go and work out pretty hard to see if i can break this concealer that is it for this beginning portion of the video and i will see you in my next check-in hey guys so I am back. It is now 3.24. My phone's charging right now. It just died on me, so I couldn't have that show you the time. Let's take a look-see and see if this concealer is holding up. All right, so there's that. It definitely looks pretty similar to when I just put it on. I just ate like a fish burrito right now, and... It is rubbing off a little bit on my chin, but I don't know if that's just because like I ate a fish burrito. Let's turn down the lights. Oh, this is what my skin looks like with the lights dimmed. As you can see, it's pretty similar to when I first applied it. All right, so now it's been about, what? I applied this around 10, 11, to 11, 12, one, two, three, like five and a half-ish hours. Oh shoot, Nate's calling me. Hello, hi. What happened? Um, my phone died. Uh, and now I'm filming. <laughs> okay. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs> today, today has been kind of a hard day. It's just been one of those days. So, some stuff happened, and long story short, I cried a lot. But, the good news is that this concealer and the rest of my makeup has held up pretty well. Thoroughly impressed. I'm still gonna go to the gym later so you guys are still gonna see that check-in. But yeah, that is it for this check-in and I will see you guys at the next one. Welcome to the second, third, second check-in of the night. It is now 7.17 so this has been on for eight ish I think. Hours. I just got back from the gym. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm in my gym garb. My hair. Let's take. Let's let's take my hair down so I don't look like a a 12 year old boy. And I did my back and my shoulders today, which who your girl is sore. And I would have to say that this concealer is okay. Let's zoom in. All right, so usually the oiliest part of my face is the T-zone area, and I have to say that my forehead isn't too oily looking, even though I sweat a lot at the gym. It is coming off a little bit in the inner corners, but for the most part, it's like it's still matte and still no transfer, which is great. And on my chin, it is a little bit oilier, and there is a teeny bit of transfer if you guys can see that not much but a teeny bit but I mean I did eat but I do have to say I'm so impressed with the under eyes because oh homegirl was going through it today I, I don't know why it's just I was so emotional today I had such a bad day and it's just like the smallest things just set me off and I just like started crying for basically no reason. Well, I mean, there were reasons, but I'm not going to get into that. But I was crying uh, a good amount. <laughs> and for the most part, this concealer has held up so well. I mean, I was taking napkins and like kind of just dabbing because I didn't want to disturb anything. And as you guys can tell, it only kind of rubbed off on the inner corners right here. And that was when I would like kind of twist the napkin to like fit into like the inner corner to soak up like all the moisture in my eyes. I mean, look at it. It looks, it looks good. Usually with other concealers, I tend to get 
a lot more oily in the center of my forehead and I even went to the gym today and I sweat a lot so that's crazy but I do have to say that this check-in completes this video I'm so impressed with this concealer it is definitely matte um, the coverage I'm a little bit iffy on maybe I didn't put enough but I'm gonna try it out again tomorrow and I will put it in the description box if it is a little bit more full coverage I mean I do have other concealers that are more full coverage than this like my NYX can't stop won't stop one I love that one but this is also a contender, I love the applicator. It's comfortable, not drying at all, which that was what I was most worried about. And I think that's basically it for my final thoughts. I'm trying to think of anything else. And I can't really think of anything else. My overall thoughts is I'm a pretty huge fan of this concealer, but I will continue to wear it. I will put the rest of my thoughts in the description down below. If you're interested in any of the other makeup that I have on my face, that will be down below as well. Make sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good good, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!